Hello, I'm Lindsay Ferrier from Cafe Mom, and I'm joined right now by Silvia Martinez. She's a mom, and you moved here from Mexico 10 years ago. Yes, that's correct. And tell me what, what prompted that move to the United States. Well, um, I work for a university down in Mexico, and now my husband was there studying Spanish, and we met. And we got engaged, and he's from California, and we decided to move back. That's why I'm here. And tell me what that was like for you, moving from Mexico, where you had lived basically your entire life, to the United States. Uh, it, was, it was a big change, mainly because you move from your country, your language, your food, your people. You leave all that and just like start over. Fortunately, I have a great husband and an amazing family behind him, so the transition was easier than I thought. Uh, I think um, is I'm always going to miss my country and my my culture, but um, I consider now my home here in California. Now that you've had the opportunity to compare two different cultures, two different mm -hmm. countries, and how they're run very differently, what are the things that stand out to you about the United States that you really appreciate? Yes, well, there was something that since the very beginning I find that fascinating, and it's the freedom. Because in Mexico, you grow up, the people or your family say, okay, okay, you need to be, you need to think what you're going to be when you grow up, because it's really hard to find, to find a job, so you cannot move around. And what I found out when I moved here is that freedom is everything, you know. You can be an engineer all your life, and you decide you want to be a chef, and you can do it, if you wanted to. So that's the, I think, that's the, the thing that I, I like the most about the United States. Would you consider moving back to Mexico with your family? Well, we have considered like moving probably for a few months, especially because I had two kids and they don't have this experience the day to day with my Mexican family. Every time we go down there, they're really happy. They eat everything, they play with the cousins, they're, you know, they like the piñatas and the bread. <laughs> and it's, it's a joy to see them, how they try. When, when they see this part of them, that there is there, but it hasn't been out because we're not in the, in the same environment. The experts are saying that in this upcoming election in November, Latina moms in particular are going to be one of the deciding votes. It is interesting, huh? Very exciting. What do you think about that? Well, I just think that, um, I just think it's a great opportunity for us to really have a voice, you know, and, and have this voice for our family and for our communities. Um, women uh, with a force and we need to really uh, get their voice out. What are some of the issues that the presidential candidates need to focus on if they want to appeal to Latina moms in particular? A couple of issues that have always been uh, in my list that if I could do something about it, it would be great. One is education. Our kids are the future of this country and we need to really take care of them right now. Not in 10 years, it's now. And the other issue I have is uh, health insurance, you know, medical services. Something is not working there. And there is a lot of people without coverage. And, and I think, you know, um, all health has to be one of our priorities. We need to make sure that we have the resources, we have the, uh, the companies and all the support for everybody who have health insurance or health services. As a Latina mother, um, I think a lot of Latinas in this country are probably they're going through issues with immigration. You know, that, that is a, an issue in, the, in this country that I think is important. It's very hard to be addressed. From your perspective, how, how should illegal immigration be dealt with in the United States? If you were president, what would you, what would you mandate? It's very hard because you're talking with the, about the lives of people. So I cannot really give you a, a, a response about it because I think it has to be a very, very well documented, be, be seeing every issue, every level, every problem, and oof, the president has a big job right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well thank you so much for sitting down and talking to us tonight. We really appreciate it. Thank you it. so much for, for your time and the opportunity. <laughs>